Warning. Due to the fact that everyone has their own way of making a banana split, this children's message may in fact divide the entire congregation. Well, hey church, today I'd like to offer you an invaluable life skill, and that is a lesson on how to build the perfect banana split. You begin, of course, with a banana that's been sliced in half. And remember, what you have to do is you have to, of course, peel it first. That's very important. You then take three scoops of ice cream. You take one vanilla, one chocolate, and one strawberry. And it's okay if the scoops look, look a little big and, and bulky, maybe, maybe a little bit more on the strawberry side. And of course, after you get your ice cream all put in, what you want to do now is you want to take your chocolate syrup and you go on your vanilla ice cream first, then you skip the chocolate and then go back onto the strawberry ice cream. Because in the middle on that chocolate ice cream, you get a big blob of marshmallow fluff. That's right. You know why? Because chocolate on a chocolate is just too much chocolate. And then what you do is you take your whipped cream and you fill it in wherever there may be a gap or somewhere you miss, like there or here. Mm, okay, that's pretty good. And then, of course, you take, uh, take some, some oven roasted peanuts or, or some nuts and, and you sprinkle those on top as well. And then to finish it all off, you take some delicious maraschino cherries and you put them on the top of every blob of ice cream. And this, if there is a little one that, that you miss by chance that doesn't have a stem, well, you get to eat that too. But there's something missing. Oh, that's right. I forgot a spoon. Good thing I have one here. Well, it's time to bring it back to my office for a little bit of snack. Oh man, I think I forgot the most important thing. Well, you can certainly put on more toppings if you want, or the banana split. You need to begin by, by building it on a dish. You see, much like a banana split, we can often go through life building some wonderful things, yet, yet without building them on a firm foundation, we're missing out on a greater blessing. In fact, in our reading for today, from Psalm 127, serves a simple reminder. Unless the Lord builds a house, those who build it labor in vain. Meaning we can build and build and build and we can work and work and work. But unless we keep God at the center, that foundation of our lives, we're missing out. So ask him to guide your work. Ask him to bless your work. Ask him to be the center of anything and everything. And in that, you will truly be blessed. <laughs> hey, look at this. A spatula. See, God does provide. <laughs> Let's now get this back to my office. It might take me a while. I'll see you later.